Over the last four years, Luis Tavares has cemented himself as one of the best light heavyweights on the planet. Since joining the glory ranks in 2018, Tavares compiled a 5-in-1 record inside the promotion. Utilizing a unique blend of finesse and power, he was a nightmare for opponents to match up against. Because he knows Tavares wants to box at that rate. Oh, and a right hand sends Asperge down just like that. Two, three. A left to the body, I believe. The first round really dominated by Luis Tavares. Just a, a unique Ooh, ability to drop his opponent. And just like that, Luis Tavares floors Florent Kowalski. In 2022, Tavares earned a chance at the division's title, but personal matters prevented him from ever getting the opportunity to compete. Kind of sucks. Things went wrong. That's how things goes. You have to deal with it. You have to live with it. You know, I've been hearing a lot of things on social media. You're going to see a very motivated Tavares. When Glory announced an interim heavyweight title eliminator in the form of a four-man heavyweight tournament at Glory 85, Tavares found the perfect opportunity for a fresh start. Well, actually, it was a pretty straightforward decision. Uh, in the time that I was away, I gained a few pounds. I talked with Glory. They proposed this wonderful opportunity, which I couldn't resist. For me, it's nothing new. It's not a secret. I've been champion in other organizations at heavyweight, so I'm willing to test my, uh, my skills at heavyweight again. To help him prepare for his move back up to heavyweight, Tavares brought in a longtime companion, three-time K-1 champ, Remy Bonyaski. You know, when you're light heavyweight, if the punches have the impact, it's hard, it's strong, you can go knockout, but uh, on the heavyweight level, it's 100% different. Well, what I see in Tavares that he's a very exceptional fighter. He's very fast with his hands, uh, his head movement, and the combination that he makes are, you know, top of the bill. Uh, I've always been a fan of the sport. You know, when, uh, when Remy was coming up, I was a young boy. When he won the K-1 the first time, I was like 10 years old. Uh, seeing all the big fighters on television. Uh, yeah, that motivated me to get into the sport. I think the strongest qualities of uh, Tavares is uh, his hands and his eyes. Make the fighter miss, make the opponent, you know, misses the punch, misses the kick. That is, I think, his strongest point. Since the tournament was announced, no participant has made more noise than Luis Tavares. At the Glory 85 press conference, his extremely confident demeanor caught the attention and the ire of Antonio Plazabot, the top heavyweight contender and the man who the tournament winner will face for the interim heavyweight title. Uh, when I win the tournament, it's going to be Plazabot. And then uh, I will beat him too. Simple as that. Bro, you got fat too, bro. Is Mike, is Mike doing, is Mike, is Mike doing your tat? To see an idiot like that uh, walk walk uh, towards me, try to get physical, confident that I will win the tournament, we will see each other after that. Simple as that. You know, I'm not backing down from him. Uh, he can say whatever he wants. You saw it at the press conference. He came in my face. I stood up. I laugh about those kinds of things. In the tournament semifinals, Tavares will face a promotional newcomer, Enver Shilvar. Of course. I will never underestimate my opponents. He has the same goal as I to win the tournament. I will prepare 100%. But with that being said, I'm here to basically knock him out. Fighting in front of his hometown crowd in Rotterdam, the Netherlands, no tournament participant will be under more pressure than Tavares. For great fighters, I see myself as the greatest out of, out of those four. Glory 85, I'm going to prove that. Then it's on to uh, bigger and better things. But I think this is the start of something uh, special, like a new era.